I like to go to Ben's warehouse in all of my pajamas and find the biggest bucket of ice cream that I can find and walk around until an associate asks me what I'm doing, just like I tell him, I hate the way I look. <laughs> It's always been a lifelong dream of mine to have a twin. Not for like the extra set of clothes or the companionship or whatnot. Just so I could run into really shitty parties and yell at him and be like, Brian, I'm you from the future. We gotta go. <laughs> Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. So of course I was thinking about DMX, you know, sacred day. And you ever think that DMX got inspired by a cardigan? You know, he puts it on and he's like, where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? <laughs> Dude, I'm like, I did. Thank you, thank you, Nick. <sighs> Speaking of meth, I'm sick and tired of the bad rep that it's been getting. You know, you've seen these ads? I decided to write some pro-meth ads to kind of balance the market. And check it out. Meth, still made in America. <laughs> How about this one? Meth. No teeth, no cavities. <laughs> and my favorite one, meth. Because who else is gonna do drywall? Seriously? <laughs> oh, speaking of Mesa, I was there yesterday. Check <laughs> the cash, you know what I'm saying? Wave your cricket phones in the air if you feel me, right? <laughs> oh, fantastic. Is it just me, or has the more furniture store been going out of business for like 20 fucking years? <laughs> you are right in your response. All right, thank you. <laughs> I hate, I love technology, but I don't think that it needs to exist in bathrooms. You know, because like that, that paper towel dispenser, I hate it. Because it sounds like robot screams of pain, you know? You go up to it, you wave your hand, just It only gives you like that fucking much. It's unreal. It's unreal. Hey, thank you guys. My name is Brian Rose. Have a good night. Brian Rose. Your next comedian is Charles Engel. Take your time. <laughs> hey, so I checked out a new barbershop the other day. I didn't really know what to expect. I get stressed out with haircuts because I never know what to describe what I want. I always use shapes. I'm like, hey, can you circularize the square I got behind my logo? Maybe maximize the bombus like that behind here? I think my guy knew. I had Sebastian from El Salvador. He liked dancing flamenco, but because of his accent, I thought he was talking about dancing with flamingos. He was like, oh, you ever dance flamenco? I was like, no, I've never been that close. I never really thought about dancing with it. He's like, oh, you should take a class. They give classes? I don't know, is that awkward? No, you and your partner intertwined, it's so romantic. Like, I don't, I just don't know where I really put my hands. Oh, it's all about balance. And I'm like, yeah, I guess the one-legged thing is pretty cool. Then he answers his phone mid-cut. I don't know the rules of the teach you in barber school, but don't answer your phone. I freaked out. I thought I was gonna have to buy headphones at half price the rest of my life. Don't text and drive, don't cut and snip. Anyway, he does a good job, he finishes the haircut. He comes over and he puts a hot towel on my face. I didn't know what was going on, I started freaking out. I was expecting straps to lock over my hands and feet. A sponge on my head and I was gonna go out electric chair style. Towel over my face, then a stray razor comes off and he starts scraping away. I don't even know this guy, now my life is in his hands. One arm flick of the wrist and I'm out. Then, he starts talking to the guy next to him in his native language. Now I can't see what he's doing or hear what he's saying. He could have been like, hey, should I kill this guy right now? No, I got a lot of change in his pockets. I don't think he's gonna tip. You know, I ain't half dollars, man. I'm not doing it. <laughs> he didn't kill me. I survived the haircut. He did a pretty good job, too. He kind of bragged when he was leaving. He was like, hey, man, good luck with lording off all those chickens with that fresh cut. And I was like, hey, thanks, man. Good luck with the flamingos. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks, I'm Charles Engel. Charles Engel. Your next comedian is 